If you want Pink Diamond Jason Richardson, Pink Diamond Damian Lillard, or any other card that you don't have time to grind for in NBA 2K22, my team, hit up my boy MT Plug Grinder on Twitter. He is trusted, reliable, affordable, fast, and if you don't have time to get these cards on your own, he's got you covered. Now, with all that being said, you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. If you're having trouble getting 34 points and 14 rebounds with Diamond Hamadou Diallo, then this video's for you. So get ready because I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way to get this challenge done. First things first, I think the best game mode to get these 34 points and 14 rebounds is definitely Domination. I usually play on Rookie Difficulty versus the Orlando Magic, but you can play versus pretty much any team you want to because Rookie Difficulty is so easy. Up next, let me show you guys my team. So here's my lineup I'm using to get this challenge done with Diallo. My starting point guard is Trey Young, I have Devontae Graham at shooting guard, and Hamadou Diallo at small forward, but then I'm using Gold, Cedric Sabalos, and Zion Williamson. You guys are probably thinking, Doc, why the heck are you using these garbage gold players? Well, let me show you why. Hamadou Diallo is not very tall, he's only 6 foot 5, but look at this. Zion is only 6'6", six six, and Cedric Sabalos is also 6'6", six six, not much taller than Diallo. If you use a player like Mitchell Robinson at center, he's gonna steal so many of your rebounds because he's 7'1". But these two gold players are very unlikely to steal your rebounds because they're not very tall and they have such low ratings. So I think this is a very good, very short lineup to use if you want 14 rebounds with Diallo. I mean, look at this. Trey Young is only 6'1", and so is Devontae Graham. Basically, no Nobody on this team should be stealing Hamadou Diallo's rebounds. So yeah, I think Domination is the best game mode to complete this challenge and I think this lineup right here is the best lineup you can use. Up next is the most important part where I'm gonna show you guys gameplay of me getting this challenge done. You guys are gonna see that this challenge is a lot easier than it looks. Real quick, I would love it if you guys could drop a like on this video for me if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy it. I post or stream NBA 2K content pretty much every day so if you enjoy that kind of stuff I think you're in the right place. I think I'm pretty consistent, and I think you guys are about to enjoy this video. With all that being said, you guys sit back, relax, and let's get these 34 points and 14 rebounds with Hamadou Diallo. Okay, first things first. If you're watching this video right now, I'm guessing that you probably need help getting 14 rebounds with Diallo. Scoring points is super easy because this is rookie difficulty, so I'll show you guys how to do that too. But I'm pretty sure the main reason why you guys are watching this video is because you can't get rebounds. So let me show you guys a tip that's gonna help you get a lot of easy rebounds. Go to defensive settings, and if you're playing versus the Magic, go to Wendell Carter Jr. and make Hamadou Diallo guard him. Wendell Carter is the starting center for the Magic. Magic, which means he's usually very close to the basket, which means he's usually in a decent position to grab rebounds. So basically, if Hamadou Diallo guards Wendell Carter, that means Diallo is going to be in better position than any other player on your team to grab rebounds, because Diallo is pretty much going to be right by the basket. So if you're playing versus a different team that's not the Magic, make Hamadou Diallo guard that team's center. So yeah, I got Hamadou guarding Wendell Carter and Robin Lopez. If you do this, it's going to make rebounding a thousand times easier. So yeah, let's do this, let me show you guys this strategy in action. Like I said earlier, scoring points with Hamadou Diallo is super easy because this is rookie difficulty. No matter what you shoot, it's gonna go in the basket. So you guys should have no problem scoring with Hamadou Diallo, even though his jump shot's not great. The most important thing here is grabbing rebounds, so get in good position right by the basket with Diallo and there's one rebound already. I promise you guys, Wendell Carter is absolutely no threat to shoot, so you do not have to worry about guarding him. You can sit right under the basket and wait for the rebound just like that. Notice how Wendell Carter is just sitting in the corner. He's absolutely no threat to score, so I go right under the basket, I get in perfect position to grab the rebound, and boom, there it is. So even though 14 rebounds seems like so much, it's really not that hard. There's three rebounds already. I'm literally just sitting in the middle of the paint, in perfect position to play defense, and we're right there to grab the rebound. Let's keep on playing defense, and let's keep on grabbing rebounds. Terrible shot, four rebounds now. Let's drive in, snatch back, shoot shoot the three. Let's go. Like I told you guys earlier, this is rookie difficulty, so it's super easy to score. Even if you don't green every shot, it's still gonna go in. So honestly, guys, don't even worry about scoring points because it's so easy. The game is so long. 
20 minutes long and you only need 34 points. It's only the first quarter and we're already halfway there. That's gonna be another three-pointer for Diallo. 18 points. Scoring with Diallo is super easy. He can make threes, he can drive to the rim, he can dunk, but getting rebounds is most important. Let's drive to the rim and let's dunk. Let's show off the athleticism. Hamadou Diallo's actually a very good player. He can drive in, he can dunk, he can make threes. Even though his jump shot isn't very fast, it's still pretty easy to time. So I know I've said this like a thousand times already, but you guys should have no problem scoring with Diallo. It's the first quarter and we have 22 points. I'm gonna shoot this three and we're gonna knock it down again. 25 point quarter. It's only been five minutes and we already have five rebounds. So we only need nine more rebounds in the next 15 minutes. Basically, we're on a pretty good pace. I'm gonna shoot this again. I'm slowly getting that jump shot right. We only need six more points and nine more rebounds. Good defense right here by Diallo. Wendell forces it and there we go, another rebound. Sometimes if you leave Wendell Carter wide open just like this, he drives in, he tries to score on you, but you're in perfect position to contest the shot and grab the rebound. Let's run that fast break and let's shoot another three, another green for Hamadou Diallo. Let's leave Wendell Carter wide open again. Let's get in perfect position and there we go, another rebound. That's a really good strategy I didn't mention earlier. If you leave the lane wide open, Wendell's gonna think he has an easy layup, He's gonna drive in and you're gonna be in perfect position to contest the shot and grab the rebound again. We're halfway done with Diallo's rebounds, but we're gonna be done with his points right here. Contested three point shot for 34 points. We are done scoring with Hamadou Diallo. All we have to do is keep on grabbing rebounds and Wendell Carter is making that very, very easy. Let's drive in. Let's go all the way to the rim for the slam. He's got some great dunk animations. Three minutes left in the first half and we already have eight. Make that nine rebounds now. Let's drive in again. Let's dunk it again, just for fun. 41 points. On defense, we're playing pretty much perfectly and we're also grabbing almost every rebound, man. I'm loving this. It's not even halftime and we already have a double-double. We lead by 40 points, but who cares about that? All we care about is rebounding, another rebound. When Robin Lopez is on the court, you do not have to worry about him. I'm literally sitting in the paint, leaving Robin Lopez open and I'm already in perfect position to play defense and grab the rebound. We might be able to get one more rebound before halftime. Oh yeah, we're right there. Nice block, nice rebound. Let's run the fast break and honestly, let's shoot a three. It's been a long time. 44 points, 12 rebounds, five assists. We're almost done rebounding and it's only the first half. We're making this look so easy right now because it really is easy. One more rebound and we're finished. This could be it right here. We might literally finish this challenge right here. One minute into the third quarter. Great defense by Zion and nice rebound by Diallo. We're done, baby. It only took me 12 minutes, 44 points, 14 rebounds, seven assists. Let's get this triple double and then we'll end the video. Honestly, I could probably get over 20 rebounds. So let me keep on showing you guys how it's done. We're right by the basket for another rebound. I want the triple double, so let's get the assist to Devonte Graham. Like I said earlier, literally every shot you shoot goes in. Let's get the triple double right here. Trey Young for three, he knocks it down. Triple double with Diallo. Honestly, getting this triple double with Diallo was way easier than I expected. It reminds me of getting the triple double with Josh Giddy. By the way, if you need help getting a triple double with Josh Giddy, I posted that video earlier today and the link is in the description and the, the, the comments. That's the word I was thinking of. Good defense. Another rebound. 19 rebounds for Diallo already. This is crazy. It's only been three quarters and we already have 19 rebounds. I'm telling you guys, getting rebounds is a lot easier than it seems. If we get one more rebound, we have 20 rebounds. What is Robin Lopez doing? Why is he shooting that? That is such an easy rebound. Now let's score one more time. Let's get 50 points. 51, 20, and 12. Let's keep on padding his stats. Let's get as many assists as we can before the game is over with. The shot clock's running down and I'm right under the basket, so this should be another rebound. If you need help getting rebounds, take notes. We're in perfect position every time right by the basket for another easy rebound. I don't think we have time to get 30 rebounds, but we definitely have time for 25. So that's my goal by the end of this game. Let's get 25 rebounds and 20 assists. They're running pick and roll. I'm right there on defense. I'm not worried about that. Great defense, good rebound. There's less than two minutes left. How many more rebounds can we get? We're right there for another one. Also, we're about to get 20 assists. Let's pass out. 
let's shoot it and let's knock it down 51 24 and 20 oh my gosh let's add one more rebound what's robin lopez doing what's he gonna do on offense he misses an easy layup 25 rebounds that is really crazy i guess we'll go ahead and dunk it too what an amazing game for hamadou diallo He's really stuffing the stat sheet, looking like prime Russell Westbrook, another rebound. Oh man, Robin Lopez is pretty bad. I'm gonna shoot this, just for fun, to show you guys that everything goes in on rookie difficulty. 94 point win and unreal stat line for Hamadou Diallo, 57, 26, and 20. I mean, come on, man, you gotta be kidding me. Look at these numbers. We needed 14 rebounds and this man got 26. That's pretty crazy and I know I made this look easy, but you guys can do the exact same thing. These are the big keys. Play rookie domination, use short players, and make Hamadou Diallo guard the other team's center. If the center can't shoot like Robin Lopez or Wendell Carter, it's gonna be a thousand times easier because you can just sit in the paint right under the basket in perfect position to grab rebounds and play defense. So yeah, 50, 20, and 20 triple double with Diallo. And like I said at the beginning, I really hope this video helps. If this video helps you out, let me know by dropping a like on it for me if you haven't already and subscribing to my channel. I know I I said this earlier, but I post or stream NBA 2K content pretty much every day, and I actually streamed me getting DeMar DeRozan yesterday. So I've already finished every single moments challenge, and I'm here to help you guys get DeRozan too. So if this video helped you out, let me know in the comments, and also check out my Josh Giddy triple-double strategy if you haven't already. With all that being said, this video is pretty much over. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you're still watching right now, huge shout out to you. If you seriously made it all the way to the end of this video, and you're still watching right now you're amazing thank you so much for your support and i really hope this video helped you out stay tuned for more walkthroughs just like this in the future you guys stay chill stay safe good luck getting those 34 points and 14 rebounds and i'll see y'all again real soon